Stick with me and I'm gonna show you my guide to growing baby corn. Although it's kind of late into the season now, because baby corn grows so fast, um, somewhere between 30 to 45 days, you can still catch one more crop right now if you put it in. Now, when I mean baby corn, I'm talking about they actually sell seeds that aren't regular corn. They're called baby corn. Um, I guess they're developed that way to grow up really quick and soft. Uh, so these are like the little ones you see in um, like Asian dishes and stir fries and stuff, that, the tiny little corns. So here's my experience with uh, my... I would say experiment, my baby corn experiment, because I had never grown them before. So today I'm going to harvest baby corn. Now I grew this as just a small little experimental patch because I had never grown baby corn. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, baby corn is those little corns you get like in Asian stir fries and stuff. Well, it's supposed to be very rapid growing and you can even grow it in a pot but since I'm up in New Hampshire, the weather was pretty cold. And when I put this in the ground, it was um, at the end of March, I believe. And it took a while to get going. But once the heat hit, it grew really fast and rapidly. Normally, this only takes about 45 days to get these little corns. Now, when they start coming up here, these corns, you're supposed to pick them within three to five days. Because it's rained so much, I've been lazy about getting out here, and it's more like seven days. They might be too big at this point. Sorry, I had a spider on me. I had to come back. So, yeah, it might be a little too late for some of these. I'm going to have to cut them up and stir fry them. I don't know if I could eat them raw on a salad. They're too big now. So, I'm going to show you what these things look like. So, we're just going to break one off. Otherwise, just have to cut it off. Oh, I'm sorry, plant. Here we go. So I got one off, and um, we'll open it up and see what's inside here. So this one is already too big, pretty much. I can cut it up and make it into regular corn, but I think I left this too long. It's not supposed to be this big. They're pretty much like almost real corns at this point. They're still very soft. I mean, I'm sure if I cut it up and stir fry it, I'll be all right. Let's see if I can find a smaller one. So this is more the size you're looking for. Even smaller than this if you can find it, but it's it's only a few inches. Um, these, if you catch them small enough, you can actually eat them raw. Like cut them up and put them in a salad. But most likely I'm going to have to cook all these guys. So baby corn is pretty easy to grow. It just takes a while until the heat comes out. When the heat comes out, then they take off. Uh, I tried growing this corn too early, I think, and it just took forever. And if you've never grown corn, you have to let these things flower first. These are the flowers. And uh, you always want to plant them in a grid. Don't put them in rows. And they cross-pollinate, and then the corns just shoot up in a few days after the flowers open. At least baby corn. All right, so I hope you learned something. So I hope you learned and got a kernel of knowledge about baby corn. See, a kernel. And, and I hope that joke was not too corny. See what I, I did there? Corny. Okay, I'm getting bad looks. I'm gonna go. <laughs> so this is one of the baby corns I just picked, and even at this size, you can still eat it raw. It tastes sort of like a cross between a corn and a carrot. Very crunchy though, but you can eat them raw. So I'm just gonna eat them raw. Not bad. I didn't think you could eat them this large, but they're they're good. One last thing I want to say: even at this size, you can still eat them raw. I took a bite here so you can see it, but. Uh, I'm, I had no idea you could eat them this large. They're still good. So that was my experiment. Maybe next year I'll grow a much bigger patch now that I know it's pretty easy. It was tasty. I like the little little corn things, even though they got a little too big, but they're, they're not bad. Um, the other thing is please remember to check out my Amazon page. It's listed below in the links. If you're going to shop on Amazon, I'd really appreciate it if you go through my link and, and have, a, have a look anyway. So thank you so much for that. And the other thing I want to remind you of is that um, to go to my website below, lupotv.com. There you can find exclusive uh, videos you can't find anywhere else. So I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for uh, checking out my channel and keep watching my other farming stories. You'll see them appear here and there. As always, be nice to that cat. <laughs>